thing I had on me all the time, a cricket bat and a ball. And then obviously going to school in South Africa, school sport being such a, a big thing there. Twice a week after school on, in year one, and I think it was a bug that I could um, never really shake. Bat and ball in the garden, around the pool, uh, diving into the pool, taking catches and things like that. Um, just part and parcel of growing up. I'll forever be grateful to the, to the old man. Disciplinarian from uh, up until I was about 13 and I went off to boarding school or whatever, um, and then he stopped viewing me as a kid. Um, started treating me like an adult, but it made me grow uh, as a person. And by the time I'd left uh, boarding school, we were, we were best mates. He was immensely proud of me. I was immensely proud of him. He was a, he was a, he was a great dad. He's raised um, three great girls below me. Um, and him and my mum together forged a family bond and a household, which was a great place to grow up. Yeah, I am what I am now because of the sacrifices he made growing up to put me in places where I probably shouldn't have been. Um, you know, but he bent his back to, to put me in the right, to point me in the right direction. And first person I phoned after Gloucester told me they didn't give me a contract. Been here now, I think it's my sixth season, so an established, an established player in the dressing room. I'd signed on, and obviously when you sign on, I got this letter through the post saying I'm a member now of the PCA. Every year you learn something new, and, and they're great at supporting us and you know, alerting us to the dangers that are out there in, in the world. I contacted Mark Wallace on a on a pretty dark day, I got a phone call from my mother and saying my dad had been hospitalized, he'd had a mental breakdown. And he'd been suffering from undiagnosed depression for, for a good few months. Um, and then in November of last year, uh, I got a phone call from my mother um, just telling me my dad had, had passed away, had taken his own life. The girls had, uh, girls had walked in to find him in his bedroom. Being halfway across the world, um, and not being able to help and not being there, you know, the, the, the immediate kind of emotions I felt was, was, was guilt, um, anger. Uh, here I am, you know, living my dream, playing cricket, uh, and I'm not there for the, for the people that probably matter most and I care about most. And Mark got a phone call on the, dark, the darkest day that I can remember, and I don't know what he was doing. He could have been wherever, he could have been picking his kids up from school. I had no idea what he was doing, but it felt like time stood still and the only his only priority was was me um, which is going above and above and beyond 15 20 minutes later I was getting bombarded with messages can we do this can we do that can we help they offered straight away to help with flights they offered straight away to um, send my partner with me they told me to take as much time as I as I could and it was it was overwhelming the support I got from just a simple phone call um, and like I said, I was down in a very low place and I got a, a hand to pull me out and I'll, I'll never forget it. I th then very quickly, a couple weeks later, picked up a stress-related illness, which no one knew what it was, but I'd lost between five and 10 kilos. I went through a stage where I lost four kilograms in four days and they had referred me to someone in Bristol and I had a, an appointment, I think two days later, uh, and I sat down and started talking about where I was at in my head, you know, every time I'd find myself alone, whether it be for five minutes or for a few hours, um, some, some dark thoughts would come creeping in. Um, depression is not just something my dad uh, suffered with, and that's an emotion I battled with for a while as well. Um, spoke to my doctor about as well, and, and something that I know that I've got to keep on top of because it can quite easily come creeping up on you if you're um, not proactive with it. And it's something that, through talking to my doctor, I think my partner's understood and it's helped me communicate with my partner a lot better. She has come with me and she's also had a few sessions on her own um, trying to figure out what's going on in my head. Um, she's obviously dealing with her own emotions from what's happening. That's obviously taken a toll mentally on her and she's been afforded the same help that I have, um, which if you think about it is, 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 is crazy. Um, and to get that level of support is, is fantastic. The trust has certainly shined a light on, on ways I should be thinking, um, things I should be thinking of, spending time on the right things in my life spending the right amount of time playing cricket, the right amount of time looking after your family and looking after yourself. Um, you know, I can't look after my family and no one can look after their family if you yourself are, are, are a big mess upstairs. It's something that I know I'm going to have to keep working on, but like I said, with the, with the PCA and the trust, it's, it's been fantastic and it's made my life a lot easier. Gloucester have been awesome. Uh, didn't put any pressure on me to come back to start training or things like that. Told, told me to take as much time off as I needed and um, and yeah, I think I just think the way cricket is at the moment, um, from the county to the PCA to your teammates, I think it's in a really healthy space. And information, like I've said a few times here, is is so readily available. Um, and and it's the personal nature of 
uh, that information and how it's shared with me that I think I will be grateful for the most. I've got someone on the other end of the line who genuinely has an interest in my life and what's going on, genuinely wants to help me and my family and see us succeed. There's not one thing that the charity itself and the trust itself does. It means support, it means stability, um, it means a helping hand when you need one. Any donation, any video, any miles done on a bike for any, any help, is, it, it does get used. And I think we as players see where that, that money goes and we see it goes into the game. And to be back here playing again, um, that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the PCA um, and for the Professional Cricket Trust. The PCA is helping in every way possible, in more ways than one. I, I can't explain how many ways I help him, so I'll forever be grateful.